It's still a funny old game, Saint. How else can you explain Motherwell? Their form this season would keep a psychologist in work for several years. When they play well, they don't win. When they don't play so well, they pick up full points. More tales of the unexpected at Fir Park on Saturday, yet without the engrossing drama we've come to expect from Terry Butcher's men. More a tale of how did we do that? Barry Robson saw his shot saved as United flickered for a moment with the form they showed against Hearts in midweek. Scott McDonald might be doing this in Germany in the summer. He's been included in the Australian squad for their upcoming match with Bahrain. This kind of pass might see him make the World Cup squad. It was pounced upon by Richie Foran. Foran reckons he would have reached 20 goals by now if he'd been playing up front this season. There was enough about the way he finished this to back up his claim. United are an improved side under the new gaffer, and if Colin Samuel had better luck, things might have turned their way. He didn't, and they didn't, nor did their luck improve. Shades of handball unnoticed or ignored by the referee, and after the ball whistled wide, the inquest will determine that the ball did indeed hit a motherwell arm. Accidentally, although you could also ask why the arm was so high in the first place. In any case, it became irrelevant after Motherwell's first attack of the second half. Richie Foran delighted with his second goal of the game, and the goal that would see off United. A simple set piece, Foran got there ahead of his marker. Points looking safe as United failed to match their midweek efforts. Motherwell, meanwhile, were looking for their first win in seven games. And the first this year, midfielder Brian Kerr went looking for his first goal of the year as well. The reaction of the goalkeeper suggested the ball was well wide, while at the other end, David Fernandez sent in a shot that had Graham Smith rather more concerned. Motherwell might have added to the lead after a decent build-up. Derek Stilley had to come to the rescue for United with some brave goalkeeping. He was more fortunate when Steve Hamill's free kick had him beaten. Woodwork to the rescue, and although they didn't give in, United didn't really look likely to get back on terms with their hosts, not when they could count Colin Samuel's shot in the turn among their best efforts. Motherwell's first win of 2006, and it was strangely in keeping with their season that they were celebrating New Year in February. We've done so well in previous weeks, and you know it's been a hard luck story. Where we haven't taken our chances this time, we we took our chances and uh, didn't allow uh, Dundee United, you know, many efforts on our goal. So in the end, it's uh, it's nice. It's a nice feeling for the players. It's uh, Jim Hamilton's birthday party um, this weekend, so um, hopefully you know he can enjoy it, and the rest of the lads can too. And and you look at the game and think there hasn't been many chances created both sides, and uh, to come away losing two 0 it's a hard one.